Hi. Have you ever find yourself in a place whereby you just start asking yourself like, how did I find myself here? Have you? Well, if you haven't, just thank God that this one will never ever find you. And if you have, don't worry because we are in this together. Hi guys, welcome. This is Nanina the Grace and you are in the home of Grace. In this channel, I share my life stories. So kindly don't forget to like, comment and share. So before we start out this video, you guys, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the love, for the support. You people are so amazing and may God Almighty bless you for me. Back to our points. Now, how did I find myself here? Guys, this is a world without no answer. And in, believe me, in this world, you can be like thinking and deep thinking with no answers. You will be thinking like most of the things that normally trigger such kind of a, such kind of a point is that you will find yourself like you are thinking too much beyond your control. And you will be like thinking maybe uh, like maybe you had a job. And then you've been stopped like working and maybe you lost someone or maybe you are going through circumstances that you can't control it or maybe you are sick. So you are just trying to think and look for answers according to the situation that you are in. Now, maybe let me come now to my point like, like I told you earlier or those people that are following closely, you know, like I'm a single mom. Now you will come in a point whereby it is end month. Now you should be paying your bills. And if you don't have a good income or if you don't have like any ways, like you will be paying your rent or paying your children's school fees or paying your bills, you will be now start like thinking, deep thinking, like how am I going to go about it? How am I, what am I going to do? What is this? Why this? So you will be asking lots of questions yet you will not find answers. Or maybe you are going through heartbreak, guys. Heartbreaks, hearts. It really hurts so much. And you'll be like, God, who did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Why me? So you'll be having this pain. And most of the time, you'll be like judging yourself. Like, where did I go wrong? And you will be like crying and looking for answers. And... Asking yourself because heartbreaks normally come unexpectedly. Like maybe you have you have your plans and then it just comes all of a sudden. Somebody comes, someone comes and tells you like it is over, or somebody just disappeared like that, you know. So it will be like you are looking for answers, like why me? Why me? And you will not have answers and it will really eat you up. So you will be asking yourself. How did I find myself here? Because it's something like unbelievable. And maybe you loved your partner so much. You shared a lot. And all of a sudden, someone tells you like, it is over. So at this point, you will be looking for answers. Crying. Because you will be in your own world. And you will not even have or want anybody to share with you those pains. So it is you and yourself dealing with those issues. And most of the time you will find like you're sinking and you're sinking deeper and deeper and you will be depressed. So how did I, how did I find myself here? Uh, normally comes with problems whereby you are looking for answers. Uh, maybe uh, you're going through a uh, hardship and you're looking for answers. You're looking so, for solutions that you will not find by that time. And you are really struggling and trying at least to come out of it. And you are not seeing the way out. You are just in a place whereby you feel like you are locked. Uh, wherever there is no going. You are just there stagnant. And yes, so that is how you will find yourself in a place whereby uh, you will be just saying, how did I find myself here? Because you're looking for solutions. You're looking for answers. You are looking for a way, but there is no way. And now this now leads, leads us now to point number two. Now, point number two, now uh, 
after you are in that place because we are looking for solutions to come out of the place or the mess that we are in so point number two you will start now start asking yourself how can i get out of this mess now you will be like now trying um maybe now because uh, maybe you lost a job and now you are trying uh after now uh, you seem like okay now already the job is gone after now all your pain now you start now like thinking how you can get another job or how you can go and apply or another step like how can i sort this issue or how can i pay these bills how can i so you are just trying trying each and every thing that can come in your way to get out of that mess so in this is why like sometimes you'll be now like how can i get out of this and maybe you have no solutions or maybe you've tried and nothing is happening you've really tried uh, maybe if it is a job or your business you have really tried maybe you're going to work and you are coming back without any selling and nothing so you will be like hmm, how can i do this how can i make this work so in this process guys this will be still eating you as well you will be still drained now point number three now you'll be like asking yourself am i the only person going through this and yes guys these are the questions like sometimes you'll be like god why have you forgotten me why have you forsaken me and then maybe you know of somebody or someone that has been through what you've been through so you will be like I don't think I'm the only person that is going through this so you know you will be having lots of questions and the truth is you are not the only person going through that and there are some people that are going through worse than what you are going through guys this is what I have discovered because maybe like my case maybe I did not have like food to put on the table let me say I did not have food to put on the table and maybe my neighbor had that food to put on the table and unfortunately the neighbor is sick they cannot eat it so you see sometimes you might have something and maybe somebody might not have what you have so it's just vice versa maybe you have it and somebody don't have it and maybe that person have it and they cannot get use of it or they can't use it or have it so it's just something like goes that way and if you understand like you are not the only person going through that and maybe other people are outside they are going through us uh than what you are going through you'll just accept yourself and then say okay if i'm not the only person then i will just accept it so guys uh accepting the situation is what matters and at this point guys when you are in this uh your season of pain it is normally hard to accept the situation that you are going through you will be like just dealing with your stresses stressing yourself not eating thinking a lot not praying not doing anything because of denial you refuse to accept it like this has happened and i must move on and believe me guys when you are going through this like you are sitting there and in, in denial like not accepting what you are going through you will not heal yes you are heartbroken the relationship is over accept it and move on and i know it is so painful and it is so hard to accept the heartbreak or moving on it is not that easy but for you to heal to get out of that place you must accept it and move on maybe you are sick and you're asking yourself god why me why me why am i getting such kind of diseases and curable diseases why me let me tell you like don't question god just accept it and just say i am stronger and this is why this disease has struck me and god is not going to abandon me i am stronger than this once or the more you accept the situation that you are in the easier the healing starts or the breakthrough comes comes in your way so start thinking start accepting what you are going through that okay 
today i went to sell my goods and i did not sell anything but tomorrow is another day that one you have accepted okay you are sick in the hospital you can't eat or you are going through a lot let me say in the hospital sick bed okay just accept okay today i am sick i'm in the hospital yesterday i was good i was not this way and tomorrow i know it will be better so the more you accept the situation that you are in the more the healing comes right okay today i haven't eaten because i did not have something to put on the table remember tomorrow is another day god will provide for me and i will eat once you've started accepting what you're going through that is where now the healing will come on your way now last but not least start living again by faith start living again by faith now just say okay today i know god can make a way where there seems to be no way i did not have this one yesterday but today i believe i will have it i am sick now but i believe i am healed so you start accepting the healing the healing that you haven't seen yet so you start live by faith by grace by accepting that you are sick and yes you can come out of that sickness okay so you start accepting each and every situation so you see you are living a new life by faith it will be hard but that is the only way to help you to get out of that pain now bonus boundaries are not barriers in god's hands so guys in this point i mean like where you are you might feel like god is so far away from you and especially when you are in pain of season you will feel like god has forsaken you and god is so so far away from you i can tell you like god is never far away from you rather it is you that is far away from god so the more you come closer to god you will feel like god is always near with you and moreover god is omnipresent he is everywhere anywhere wherever you are because he is god so when you feel like you god is so far away from you just find a way to be closer or seek god more and more and then you will see like god is always near so guys We've come at the end of our video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and see you in the next. Bye.